One of the confusing concepts about JavaScript is that here functions are objects. So this function we have here, which is art, which is really an object. Don't believe me? Let me show you. So let's take a look at the few of the members at the console. Here the console art dot name that returns the name of this function dot length returns the number of these arguments of this art. Every object in JavaScript has a constructor property and that references the function that was used to create that object. Here is the fun part. Who do you think created this object? Let's have a look. So art.constructor. So here we have another built-in constructor called function and when you declare a function using this syntax internally javascript engine will use this function constructor to create this object let me show you so i'm gonna define a constant called art object to separate from our art function and here our function requires two parameters water and land so we add that here as a, as a string now as the third argument I'm gonna pass this code inside of this function. So to break it up into multiple lines, I'm gonna use the backtick character and then simply copy all of this code and put it here. So when I declare a function internally, this represented like this. Now we can call this function object just like calling our art function by newing up art object and passed argument like 71% and 29% as the argument. Save. Now in a console, let's log art object. Look, it's a real art object with these three members. So this art function and this art object are actually the same. They have the same properties like humans, land and water. See? So this is what we call functions are objects in JavaScript. It's proved, right? And be sure to share with your friends if you like this video. And that's it.